Hey YouTube, in this video I'll be explaining why a raised to the b times a raised to the c is equal to a raised to the b plus c. This is called the law of indices and it's pretty simple so we'll just get right into it. So you're going to want to start out with a to the b times a to the c and we'll put that right here. So we want to think of this in terms of both parts. So let's look at a to the b. All that really is is just a times a times a times a for a total of b times. And we can say the same thing for a to the c. It's just going to be a times a times a times a for a total of c times instead. Now, we know for multiplication, the order doesn't matter. So we're not going to need these brackets or parentheses. We can just view this whole thing as one long string of a's multiplied together. So you can see that here. So now the question is, how many a's are going to be multiplied together here? So as you could probably imagine, we have b a's here, and we have c a's here. So if we multiply all of those a's together, we're left with a string of b plus c a's. Right, so this is going to be a times a times a times a for a total of b plus c times. And of course, we know this is just the definition of exponentiation. So we can write it in this form, just like this. And that's essentially the proof. So hopefully you guys understood it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. And I hope you learned something. Bye.